I'm sure many of you that have dealt with retro hardware can relate to your video memory going bad on your graphics cards, but you don't know which chip went bad. Necroware from YouTube has released a new tool that allow you to pinpoint which memory chips are bad. And we're gonna test it out right here. First, of course, I'm gonna need a open test bed. And we got our test system loaded up here with a Radeon 9200 just to see how the program works. And we were booted up into DOS, which is a requirement for uh, using this program. Let's just give it a quick test and see what it does. I believe it is NWVMT. And you have a help toggle there that will allow you to see the available uh, options. You just need to specify the number of memory chips and the bus width. So let's go ahead and do that now. And there you can see it detected the Radeon 9200 and the total amount of memory, which is 128 megs and the bus width and number of chips that we specified. So let's just hit enter and commence with the test. And you know, it really didn't take that long. It was only about a minute on this particular card, though it could take longer with more memory, but you can see all four chips were showing okay. But now I wanna try a card that I know has a defect. This card is actually so bad, you can't hardly read anything on the screen, but we're gonna attempt to run it and see if we can decipher something. So yeah, just as I thought, the image is so garbled, it's almost impossible to see anything at all. But there is a workaround that Necroware showed that allows you to use a batch command to log the results to a file that you can read later. This is pretty much all you need, just the same parameters that you would type in in the command prompt, but then you have it log the results to this file here, and then you can save this as a bat file or include it in the audio exec so it automatically runs. So we're just gonna run the test again, but this time we're going to run the batch file and we have a log of the results. And as you can see, it's showing about half the chips as bad, which may not even be that they're bad chips. They could just be something else wrong with the card. Well, next we're gonna try a card with a much more subtle issue. This one is a Radeon 7200. And yeah, as you can see, we get a much more interesting result with two of the four chips showing as bad. Well, now that we have a result, how do you locate which chip is which? Well, generally speaking on the PCB, you're gonna see silk screens indicating the first and last chips. So for example, we have U23, U22, U21, and U20, indicating that this is the first chip and this is the last one in order. So based on the results that we got, we know that this is chip number two, and this is one of the bad ones, and this is chip number four, and that's another one of the bad ones indicated. So this is an incredibly cool tool made by Necroware, an incredibly useful if you want to know how it works and how he made it, you can check out his video. I'll have a link down below as well as a link to the GitHub page where you can download this tool and try it for yourself.